October 20th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, for your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From the testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. Ah, uh, get it? Get it, Edgeworth? Ah! <laughs> you may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vask to the stand. Miss D. Vask is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. The witness state her name and occupation. Dave Ask, I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes? I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <clears throat> Very well, Miss Vask. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. The day of the murder. Entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. 2.30, we took a 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, and we all went to Studio One. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you? The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio Two. I didn't take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. Van added to the court record. I... I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Okay, let's see what we can find. What were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. <laughs> it was a 15 minute break. Do you have someone who can verify this? So. N no, I mean someone else? One person is enough. She committed murder during that break. She wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak. Well, Nick, find anything? I kinda wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said, somewhere. Oddly enough, the contradiction is that they claimed to eat the steak, but they didn't. Um, it's kind of hard to go back. It's kind of hard to tell from the from the evidence we have here because we haven't got the right piece of evidence to show the contradiction. Um, but we can we can do it anyway. Basically, if you look at this steak plate, which is the one that Powers' steak was on, it has a bone on it. But the two plates we could see at Studio Two, which we now can't see, didn't have bones on them. So. You have to wonder where the bones went. <laughs> I mean, you'd think they could just throw them in the bin or something, but... You know... Objection! Ha! As I thought. 
You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. But what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vask and Mr. Vanilla ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. Miss Vask. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how. I want to choose the top one. I'm going to choose the top one. You ate the bone too! <laughs> um, Nick, you sure? I mean, I love steak, but even I don't eat the bone. Hey, I don't eat it either. Mr. Wright, I too leave the bone. Um, can I try that again? <laughs> I think I know how. You didn't eat any steak during that break. Hey, another little uh, tongue twister there. Nice. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. I... I see. Then what was Miss Fask doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? <laughs> Picking on someone else. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the real thing. Meeting the Samurai. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. Order. Uh, are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Miss Vask left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. M Mr. Wright! Isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that the day would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vas... Va Vasque? Maybe it's Vasque and that's how it rhymes. Maybe this line isn't supposed to rhyme. I've been going this whole case not knowing how to pronounce her name. Um, any day, Vasque, Vasque, uh, hmm. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I mentioned this ages ago, this is not the murder weapon. You, you couldn't stab someone with a spear that had to be mended with duct tape. Through like a thick costume, that was just, it's not possible. It would fall apart. I think you'd have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. You see? Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? Samurai Spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the Samurai Spear was not used as the murder weapon. The spear itself? I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. Uh, that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run-through? But someone fixed the spear. It was a security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who was wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order! Order! Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what you're... Silence. 
I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. Oomph. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? Can I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. The murder weapon, dear viewers, is this. It's that fence post, again. Look at this photo. What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, order! Order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is all this about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? W what? Are you saying... Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30pm on the day of the murder. Miss Devask meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. But whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. I in other words, th the victim, Mr. Hammer. He died in the same way that he caused another man to die. Five years ago. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you in my script writing stuff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer, as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? Breaking the meeting at the trailer lost 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Interesting. Let's hear it then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. I mean, it's the van, obviously. Miss Vask, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the Studio Van to do it. Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Objection. Hold on, right? Don't forget, it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course, Sal Manella has to have been, has to have been a conspirator. It's conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vass could have done that alone. Also, don't forget they had to dispose of the Seal Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. 
I probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Fask, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Hmm. <laughs> I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? Um, so what happens next? <laughs> Don't question mark me. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. W wait, so you mean... They've asked, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. Who can say? Huh? You sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right. But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Um, uh, mm. uh, Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but, uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Ugh, what do I do now? I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh, if you ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn. Damn. Come so far and need to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross examination of the witness, Miss Vask. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. I see, very well. Objection! Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I... I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see a little point in making Ms. Vask repeat herself. What exactly do you want her to testify about? Um, well, yes, um... Indeed. Verily, I say... Ergo. I want to know about what happened. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. Hmm. <laughs> Nick! Why did Edgeworth. Who knows? You'll probably realize she did it too. But, but. Wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth? After finding the body. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying, He did it. I asked to be looked out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. 
Okay, so the first problem I have with this testimony is that uh, they were going to the studio in order to record a scene, right? But she didn't bring her script or direction notes with her. Which doesn't make sense if you're going to be performing a scene, right? The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that you wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? It was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well. Miss Vask, please continue. Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think. Miss Vask said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, what you just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Are you thinking of a career change to defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vask, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hmm. Very well. Witness would cha will change your testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was in injured and couldn't do any action scene, so I left him behind. Hmm. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers! What? what Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. P pretending One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Uh, I already said it was Sal who told me. But that's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vask. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg, too. He's pretending to be Mr. Powers. Did you mean to say that? What, when was he doing this? Well, it would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Fast, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who'd been injured that morning. Order, order, I will have order. Witness. Can you refute this claim? Hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vask. Very well. I have a question for you. Ugh. Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing! Hmm. Yeah, she would need a motive. 
Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it's unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on this matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Nick, no! Saying you can't prove it now will be admitting defeat. She'll get away. But what proof could I possibly have? I don't care if it's impossible, we still have to fight this one. Ugh. Okay. I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vask's motive in this murder. <sighs> I think it's the five year old photo. I, but it's really more correct to say that there's no evidence of her motive. You'll see why in a bit. This is my proof. This is the photo from before? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vask? Uh, hmm. Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vask's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed, weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vask, used, mis used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day, Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the ex star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. You're talking about motives here, yet you've only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if. as if it was Mr. Hammer who killed D. Vask, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vask have? Y yes, that's right. According to what you say. I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vask's motive for murder. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vask did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vask. What? What? Your Honor. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the steel samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vask, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. He was me. Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. Why's she late? Ah, Miss Vask. What? What happened here? Manuel brought from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vask, please try to remain calm. No! No! How could this... It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No! Manuel! Manuel! D don't touch him, Miss Vask! No. Please, please don't die. Please. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Mr. Edgeworth, where's Steve Ask? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm and collective as ever. I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It appears you've brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent, but he should be found so as only natural. <laughs> 
not a miracle. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Yay! That is all. This court is adjourned. October 20th, 1.12pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vask. But to think that he tried to frame me for murder... It makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once. But he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and is the villain to boot. This is weird writing. Like, villains in kids' shows are pretty cool. <laughs> the kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Is something wrong? N no! Uh, of course not! Ah! N Nick! Edgeworth! Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, no, I really want to thank you. Vars could have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Uh, pleased to meet you, I'm Powers. <laughs> uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. Right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with, with unnecessary feelings. That's really gay. <laughs> unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. Listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Um, Mr. Wright? Was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if. They're rivals, rivals. Right, Nick? Right, Nick? <laughs> the inherent homoeroticism of having a rival. <laughs> But now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing an accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids' shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? You have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Her name's Penny. You know that her name is Penny. What are you doing, Maya? <laughs> fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I mean, probably not, since... 
since the main character is a, is a princess, and I mean, that would be a bit questionable. Um, I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real willpowers. Anyway, that's the end of the Turnabout Samurai. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's episode three. Next up is episode four, Turnabout Goodbyes, which is the final case of Phoenix Friday's attorney, sort of. Basically, um, what happened was in the original uh, version of the game, which came out on the Game Boy Advance, it had these four cases. That was only ever released in Japan, though. When they when they put it out on the DS in like localized it into English and other in other languages, uh, they added a fifth case, which is a bonus case, basically. But these four are the ones that were in the original game. Anyway, yeah, so next time we're going to start to about goodbyes, which is quite an exciting case. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, next time, turn about goodbyes. Investigation begins. Pretty exciting. Thanks for watching.